Yeah. Well, mine is growing. I'm all for it. Free virology lectures. Um, you know, Charlie Brown thing. You know. <laughs> all <laughs> right. Welcome back, everyone. I am, of course, the Dungeon Master. We are rejoining the party of the Adventurer's Guide to Inns and Taverns. We have Korg, the human fighter, Hamish, the dwarven cleric, Abilius, the human rogue, Delos, the human wizard, da -da -da -da. and Timbo, the... <laughs> Elvin, sexy. <laughs> yeah, the sexy elf uh, with the name that makes me want to kill him every time. So uh, as as uh, we left off last time, they had a treasure chest full of treasure. What else would you put in a treasure chest? And dead bodies, dead Corn. bodies. <laughs> And uh, we're w waiting to get a private raft because if they took this big treasure chest on a full raft full of uh, these less than reputable looking people, then uh, they might have to fight to keep what was theirs. Instead, up pulls a private barge. You see... Two rough-looking, tomboyish, but still obviously female um, bargemen come pulling up. And the one who is obviously in charge comes and lashes a rope around the dock. And you can see a raft made out of timbers with a tent and a lantern to light their way in this early morning hour. The sail is a rough piece of cloth canvas that is t a little tattered, not too bad, but definitely stained and, and worn. You can tell that this is a well-used vessel that has seen many, many years on the, on the river here. Uh, to give you an idea of what this river is like, like we're talking, you know, Nile, Mississippi, you know, like we're talking a real river here, not not some little, you know, river like wherever, you know, you guys might be from, you know, with some little, you know, river that like, ooh yeah, it's got some rapids, you know, or whatever. Like we're talking about like a big river with like river monster type like fauna that lives in it like catfish that'll swallow your arm and and uh trout and and salmon that jump out of the water and hit you in the head and you know that that's just re real world stuff like you know this is a this is a fantasy world so like imagine the kind of crazy ass you know creatures that could live in this monster river that just flows on down to the ocean and the ocean down there is like a super tropical ocean so like you know all kinds of nasty stuff it could be sharks you know you ever hear that there might be sharks in the great lakes and all of that like that's that's bs like take it from me but like you know, there could be, like, one that, like, swam up and, like, died from being in fresh water because they're not um, ambi-waterous, whatever the, whatever the term is where, where you can breathe both fresh water and salt water and be just fine. Um, there's some fish that have adapted to do that and all of that, but, like, sharks aren't one of them, so. Uh, but anyway... Um, so these guys, girls, these professionals know what they're about if they've been on the river this long. If this is, you know, their barge that they've been running for as long as this sail has been, 
you know, being used, and they definitely know what they're about. She jumps off after Testing. I I'll take him. <laughs> <laughs> Testing. Hello. Okay, I can hear something. I can hear something. Hello. Testing. There, there you go. go. Yay. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. We can hear you now. What is the last thing you guys heard? Uh, it was like, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm, I'm your dungeon master. Uh, and then it went. <laughs> the whole thing we missed, Chad. All of it. God. It was fucking really good. It was good. It was really good. Damn it. All right. So. It was good. You guys see a barge pull up that has a lot of experience. There are two tomboyish, but still obviously female uh, bargemen. The one with the hat, who is obviously the captain, ties off this barge and jumps off onto the dock. She is smoking a long cigar-wrapped cigarette and looks up, looks around, and says, who's looking for a ride down the river? Hamish speaks up and says, I, beautiful lass, our group does. All right, so here's the deal. It's five gold pieces each. Everybody gets where we're going unharmed. <laughs> Everybody gets where we're going unharmed. You get three of them back. And if we get harmed, we get all five back? No. If you try to do us harm, I shoot you, dump you in the river, and keep all five. So what if harm comes to the boat? Then do we get like part of our ride refunded back to us? Oh, no. We'll keep you safe, boys. Don't worry. We got you. So is the name of this barge Indigo Girls, or what's the name of the barge? <laughs> the the name <laughs> the name of the barge is the Wilson Philip. Oh, nice. uh, I thought it was gonna be the Titty Twister or something. Better. <laughs> I just have to say that having been a sailor, I'm offering to uh, fill the Messina. <laughs> And most importantly, you have stopped giggling when I say the word semen, which is the mark of a true semen. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> I like. I got marked by semen once, but it wasn't my fault. Metallica story. <laughs> okay, so. She I, says, listen, I'm... listen, boys. You can make all the jokes you want. It don't rub me wrong no which way. But. And she points to the to the musket, the the pistol, 
at, at her uh, waist and says, but you crack a joke at my sister and you'll be going home one less toe. <laughs> okay. I am I think that five gold pieces is a very good investment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, so. yeah. Especially when it turns into two. She says, and it's a two drink minimum that uh, that that comes with your with your two gold piece fare. So, so we doing five gold pieces? Yeah, fork over the twenty five gold, boys. I ain't got all day. The river only runs, you know, twenty four seven. I'm ready to spend some money through it. <laughs> All right, I'm 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 gonna pay. I'm paying. So yeah, Cor- yeah. Cor- Cor- yeah, Cor- 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 forks really over pay. his five gold, or he forks over the whole twenty-five. Uh, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay five. Do you guys got money, or do you need me to? Pay? Yeah. She, no, I'll, she, I'll she's pay like, five. are 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 you boys gonna like? take all day here like you know either get all five gold out each and like hand it over or somebody give me 25 gold like i can't believe none of you has done this before i've paid i've paid winches a lot more than five gold are are you gonna come are you gonna come down here on the dock by the barge by the way like do i have to come up there by you oh oh baby i'm here social distancing Actually, I paid, so I'm on. Social distancing? What? Are you all worried about that plague they say is going on over in uh, <laughs> New Eglia? Uh, I've got the plague. I ain't worried about it. It's your all's problem. Everybody else's problem. All right. Well, pay up. Get on board. I already, already paid. All right. Yeah, likewise. All right. Same. Ju- I'm ready to roll. Jump on board. Whoa, easy there, big fella. Don't don't get so close to the edge there. Why don't you uh come over closer to the to the middle of the tent here? You're gonna tip the the barge yeah, over in. there. I'm in. Can we fish on the way down or what? Well. But I don't have any fishing gear. You got any fishing gear? Yeah. yeah, yeah as as it so happens. You see that there's a couple of fishing rigs that are laying on the side in the back of the tent. Well, once we get rolling, I'm thinking maybe we should fish. Yeah, yeah, just easy there, easy there, big fella. We're gonna we're gonna get headed off in the perfect amount of time. I, I this ain't my first ride down the river, and she undoes the the rope from the dock. And her sister, oh, I didn't tell you it was her sister yet. Uh, her The other girl uh, takes the big oar slash uh, stick and pushes off from the dock and gets them out into the, into the water. I mean, okay, so like you guys were already in the water, but like out into the flowing water because like all of the docks here like keep the water kind of still which is like the point of like having all these docks and all of that so she pushes off until they're out of the docks and then you guys are out into the flowing water Shame on you, Discord. This is the second time this has happened. I'm going to have to look into this. Yeah. <laughs> Are you running video? Are you running your video? Like, I, I, in, in Discord? Not in Discord, no. I shouldn't okay. be. Yeah, no, I don't think I am. Because I know that's caused problems before when one of us does that. I... No, no, yeah, no. Uh, see, the the issue is is um, I'm trying to record this.
because I've been uh, having I've been having issues trying to live stream. Uh, it keeps it keeps cutting off, and so now I'm trying to record it. But if it's going to give me problems with the Discord voice, like I'm going to have to figure this out. Like either I need to upgrade my computer, or somebody needs to teach me how to stream or something. I don't know. Okay. We'll, we'll keep trying. Two girls probably in the stream. Yeah. All right. So uh, as I was saying, the docks keep the water still, and so the other girl uses the oar to push off against the shallower water near the near the edge here, and pushes them out into the rapid flowing r river, the the big river as it flows downstream. She pushes them out. And uh, you guys start to sail downstream. <laughs> uh. And it instantly turns into a Willy Wonka fever dream. No. Uh, so um, as as you guys are are going down the uh, the river, it, it's flowing rapidly. And... Okay, H Hamish is gonna scream. Ah! Tis not what I signed up for. And he grabs the captain's leg. She uh quickly reaches into her pouch, pulls out a large drinking glass, taps the keg on her back, pours a double shot of some really strong smelling liquor and hands it to you and says, easy there, little boy. I don't be tolerating anybody grabbing on me like that. Drink this instead of yourself, or I'll be tossing you into the rapids. Hamish will sit down on the raft and close his eyes and then say, I'm going to need at least six more of those. Uh, that'll that'll cost you one more of your gold pieces when we get to the when we get there, you'll only be getting two back then. Very well. And he and she fills up the glass and just lets you have it. Hey, Hamish does not like traveling on water. She says, I hope your stomach is as good as every other dwarf I've met. Because here we go. Here we go. And with that, you guys approach two rocks jutting out into the water with one huge rock in the middle. It's a tight gap that they have to fit the barge through, and the rapids are choppy as fuck. And so, uh, Hamish, you have to roll a constitution check. Uh, okay. I'm going to ask if we can get our money back. Um, <laughs> oh, what? You, this your first trip down the river, boys? Um, yeah, with the fucking indigo girls it is. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens. All right. So, Hamish, your dwarven constitution is as well, is as good as all the people say and you're able to hold on jack she manages to pilot the barge through but you guys kind of tilt and shift everybody on the edge delos and abilius make a uh -huh. make a dexterity check Let me uh, get my button. Uh, 
Boom. But Delos, as you start to fall, Timbo, do you reach out to grab him as he starts to fall off the raft, the barge? Boom. Yeah, what the hell? I mean, you don't have to. That's right. I'll grab him by his mustache. Would you like? Would you like to stab him in the eye with an arrow as he falls? Let's try and pick his pocket at the same time. <laughs> now I'll save him. All right. So you go ahead and and make a dexterity check then as well. All right, Timbo, I won't kill you this time since you actually used the dexterity check. Uh, <clears throat> you manage to grab Delos, but your balance is just a little bit off. You need to make a strength check now to be able to, like, haul him in. I'll also allow you to use acrobatics or athletics. Someone's pay attention. What are you doing, Delos? Delos tries to. I'm just, text, I'm just testing my role here. Oh, okay. I was, I was gonna say, if you were trying to like <clears throat> make a check, I was gonna have you like try to do some acrobatic flip and pull you both into the water. Uh, uh, no, uh, Timbo, you, you attempt to use all of your athletic prowess to get into a low crouch and pull Delos on but your grip slips Delos you fall into the water fortunately for you Darcia takes a rope whips it around you and you're dragging behind but now you're dragging behind as they come through the next set of rapids these uh, fortunately are less dangerous and you guys don't have to make dexterity checks, except for Delos. You have to make either an athletics or an untrained strength check in order to try to uh, avoid the rocks as you use the rope to pull yourself closer to the to the barge so that you don't hit the rocks. Oh shit. Yeah, oh, impressive. I actually have a negative to that, so. Yeah. Yeah, so so you're you're good to go there. You 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 actually Do I managed... pull myself up? Yeah, I was going to say you actually managed to pull yourself up there, so. It's a feat for a wizard. Uh. Oops, don't know how that happened. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, COVID tests are available. Uh, Bear was coughing. <laughs> hey, no coughing. You're going to get us all sick. That's, that's how they got Bob's employees. The hackers uploaded it. It's, I was yeah, just yeah. What's next? Again, what's, what's, I can could, I could tell you what I think is next, but uh, just, anyway. All right, so now we're going to use the magic of imagination to say that you guys have been traveling down the river for some time, and you guys get a chance to kind of talk to Jackaro and her 
companion, Darcia, and she hands out a cup of this really, really strong smelling alcohol to anybody who wants it. So does anybody take her up on her offer? Delos does. Of course. Yeah, Belize is going to pass. All right, so... All right, yeah, Timbo, it would actually kind of offend your nostrils even just smelling it. And um, so you guys uh, that drink it, you can tell that this is like a very, very strong rum of some kind. And you don't need to make a constitution check if you just drink the one shot, but you can feel it in your stomach that like if you take another shot that like you might be getting drunk and you're going to have to make a constitution save not check save in order to avoid getting drunk okay Dallas for sure is going to have a second shot yeah I mean I, I, I'm going to drink I'm a fighter I'm you know. All right. Yeah. So, you know, alcohol is a poison. So you do you do have to make a what? constitution. Yeah, I know. It, you do have to make a constitution save versus the poison to avoid getting drunk. Delos, you managed to make it just on the nose. The, the difficulty is 13 to avoid getting drunk off of this because that's how strong this rum is so i gotta roll a save throw for uh for constitution to avoid getting drunk yeah save all right no i'm clicking it but nothing is happening i click oh i'm sorry yeah i'm i'm rolling Fuck. you notice the dwarf didn't have to make a save he drinks stronger stuff than this for breakfast. Okay, I'm clicking on con save throw. I mean, oh, nothing is happening. Wait, he used to roll. There's a pop up asking you if you are rolling at advantage or disadvantage. Uh, oh, I think it should be advantage, but I'll just roll. This is prompt for email. It says roll d20. Is it advantage or disadvantage? It says use default uh, roll. Nothing is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just you. Just use the the normal roll, of course. Okay, there it goes. So you fail. You are you are drunk, and oh, you bars. you you kind of you kind of slur your words a little bit, and you get to decide: Are you in a good mood? Are you a happy drunk, or are you in a a more like? I want to challenge you kind of like friendly fight kind of drunk or are you no, kind I'm, of are you I'm kind happy. of a mean drunk? I'm happy. I'm, I'm a happy person. All right. Well, then I'm, then you're going to be a little a little overly chummy or perhaps you forget that you might lose a toe if you get overly chummy with Darcia. Hmm. Well, Decisions, decisions. I do like having all ten of my fantasy toes. I'm, I'm fine. I have the toes I have. Um, yeah. uh, all right. Uh, and um. As you guys make your way down throughout the day, Jackaro kind of tells you some folk tales about some of the stuff on the river. Tells you about, you know, all kinds of river monsters, you know, chimeras and, and you know, water snakes that are bigger than, than um, the trees and, you know, just you know, all kinds of stuff. And as you guys go, 
along, you notice that there is a uh, bit of netting that is caught on a log and caught in this netting is a um, bullfrog. Oh my god, I forgot to transmogrify this over. Give me two seconds. <clears throat> Did we lose him or is he still here? You here somewhere, Balloon? I I'm here. Hello? Yeah. Yep, you're there. How embarrassing. <laughs> All right. All good. So you guys see Did that pop up on your screens now? Um, I, I didn't see nothing. Oh, I clicked. Sh does. I clicked it's show to show to players. Yeah. So so you see a bullfrog. This is a common uh, frog along these rivers that is horned and uses those horns to gore larger prey it has an extraordinarily large mouth for its size as well they're about the size of a house cat <laughs> and it's caught in the netting and it's kind of like half drowning because the netting isn't allowing it to uh escape and it's half under the water and i mean it's an amphibian but it still like needs to breathe do we want to try and save it well yes All right, well, Timbo's got a thing with animals and with frogs, so Timbo, maybe, if we're getting close enough, we'll try and grab the net. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, Jackaro is willing to kind of pull off to the side because the rapids kind of die down here anyway. I don't mind it. People can stand back. That way, if anything happens, it's just me. Yeah, so she just pulls right on over to the shore there and... and you know, keeps the raft steady and, and lets you do your thing. So I'm just going to try and cut the net from a distance, or not from a distance, but just try and cut it so I don't get that close to the thing. Uh, yeah, so you can roll a handle animal because the bullfrog, you can tell that it was thrashing around by how entangled it is. But it's so weakened from its struggle right now that it's just like kind of given up and is like dying. Okay, I'll do that. How, what's a handle animal? Oh, I got it. Okay, so I'll just uh, roll uh, just a regular, eh? Yep, yep. Well, uh, wait, wait. I'm sorry. You said Timbo has a thing with frogs? Roll that advantage because you actually like understand frog psychology oh, okay i'll happily roll again sci frogology all 
All right. So you managed to kind of place your hand on top of the bullfrog's head, which, like, uh, I don't have any idea what that means. And, uh, I mean, small something. Uh, and and uh, as you place your hand on the bullfrog's head, it, like, calms down. Um, I mean, it's dying, but, like, you can tell that, like, it's, it's you know, getting, getting calmer. And you take your dagger and you kind of cut the netting from around its body and then its horns. But the frog instantly starts to, like, sink. It's, like, so exhausted it can't even swim. You grab a hold of its horn and pull it out of the water to, like, you know, get it. And it starts to, like, breathe. What do you do? Check, check. Here. What's the last thing you guys heard? Sorry. So what happened? I was like petting the frog and its horn did what? You, you were petting its frog and then uh, you cut it free and then um, you started making out with it and it turned into a prince. Uh, no. Uh, you... you you cut it free, but it started to sink. It's so exhausted that it couldn't even, like, keep itself afloat and, like, breathe. And so you grab it by the horn and pull it out of the water, and it starts to breathe. And now you have a hold of this frog. What are you, what, Louis, what do you do? What's up? Oh. Uh, if it was up to me, I think I'd just put it sort of <clears throat> on the edge of the boat and try and just sort of pet it and maybe feed it something. I don't know if I have some food or something. It seems disinterested in your food that you offer it, but it just kind of lays there and starts breathing. All right, well, I'll just sort of leave it there and let it get its breath. Yeah, and Jack Rose like, all right, well, the frog don't give a shit where we are in the river, so we're going to push off again. That frog can lay there and recover all day for all I give a shit. You guys are paying well. And she says, "Oh, by the way, boys, what, 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 what's, what's in that chest?" <clears throat> Frog food. <laughs> oh, you came at, prepared with frog food? Can I, can I see? It's just family heirlooms and clothes. Family heirlooms, eh? Oh, well, like what kind? Yes, madam. Uh, the kind that private family matters. Thank you. Oh. Well, as captain, I have the right to inspect any cargo brought aboard my ship. Ah, uh, if you would have told us beforehand, that would have been nice. Oh, so I'm now I'm... we got a problem. Oh, we got a problem, do we? And she kind of like reaches yeah. for she kind of reaches for her waist. You gonna take your pants off? <laughs> Sure. Please do. Sure, sure. Oh, God. And she, and she in... like, kind of, like, starts to, like, give you a flirty wink. Hamish will get you less. Hey, Hamish. What is the NPC count? Hamish, Hamish what? Hamish gets jealous and says, I'm down here, lassie. I'm down here. <laughs> she, she, she says, come on over. We, we don't need to be in the trail of bodies. This chest is caused already. My God. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Can I pick up a chest and like crush somebody's fucking skull with it? Or... <laughs> it she, she says, come on over, big boy. Hamish, uh, well, let me see what Hamish does here. Okay, yeah, he definitely goes. Oh. Hamish, right. go over there. All right, so roll for perception, Hamish. Oh. All right, how much mayonnaise should I put on this sandwich? All of it. How much you got? A lot. A lot. Perception or initiative, did you say? Per perception. All right. You fail to realize that she has now put a gun directly pointed at your groin. And that's her right hand. She then brings her left hand up with another full cup of rum. And she says, well, which hand's it going to be, big boy? Beautiful, I see. I right prefer both ends. So you want to drink another glass of rum and have me blow your twigs and berries off? Hamish looks down and says, Oh, I didn't see that there. She says, That's okay. Neither did I. Hamish looks back at the group and says, this is how uh, seafarers flirt. <laughs> As she claps you on the he on the back and says, "I like this one." If I if I ever give up the the uh, boating life, I'll come and marry you. Good. I will write that on my character sheet. I mean, yes. Wait, you've seen the character sheet too? Of course, lad. Stop calling me lad. Lass. Is this is this a fantasy of yours? I don't know if I can be your wife if well, Dwarven women have beards. What do you expect? I should have known better. All right, so uh, <laughs> Hamish, do you drink the other glass of rum she gave you? Yeah, of course. All right, now at this point, Hamish cannot make this journey sober. Yeah, at this point, you do have to roll to to see if you get drunk because now you've you've reached your dwarven limit. And you fail. Oh, did you roll with advantage? You are a dwarf. No. You are a dwarf. Yeah. All right, I'll roll a second one. Yeah, just roll again, yeah. Oh, you still fail. <laughs> All right, so now uh, Hamish and Korg are drunk. What's the captain's name? Jackaro. They call me Jackaro. I know my hips are slender, my fingers they are small, but it would not make me shake to see 10,000 fall. That's a big number. Uh, that's a, isn't that an Indigo Girls lyric? I don't know. 
<laughs> uh, I can't make a note in his uh, sheet. Oh, you, you're going to note that down for him? I'm going to try. You're like, just that you know, you now have a marriage pact with Jack Aro. And and uh, Timbo has a pet frog. It's a bullfrog. That's... That should be noted. It's oh, by the way, when you picked it up, it's very dense and thick. Like it might not be very big, but it's it's heavy, heavily muscled, and thick skinned, much thicker than like a normal frog. Now you're starting to turn me on. <laughs> Tommy knows his rise. All right. So uh, now we know the, the count. Two of you are drunk. Uh, and Delos is soaking wet. So Delos, I imagine you're like feeling some kind of way about having fallen in the river and being soaking wet and all that. Yeah, he's used to it. Oh, you guys just toss him in the river frequently just to... He build. falls in the gutter quite a bit. Yeah. So, uh, as you guys are traveling down the river, Jackaro says, Ah, oh, shit. Uh, can we see what she's talking about or what she might be referring to? Yes, you can. And... As the uh, sun is starting to lower on the horizon, not not set, but you know, late afternoon, and you see what she calls old grumpy. Old grumpy seems to be out and about. Ain't no way I can maneuver around, get past them rocks. It looks like we're going to be waiting here for a while, boys. She calls the turtle old grumpy and says, there ain't no way I can maneuver around him. Too dangerous to go in between the rocks. If he gets a hold of the boat, we're, we're all done for. It looks like we're going to be waiting here for a while, boys. All right. So I try and take a shot with my bow. <laughs> pull it over. See if the frog can do something. Yeah, you you use as good shooting old Grumpy with a bow there as uh, as as I'd be jabbing at you with your, with a needle. Sounds like a fun Tuesday. Is the frog starting to wake up at all? Not that I oh know. yeah, yeah. The the, the, the frog is like you know. <laughs> Somebody has their push to talk. Oh, okay. Uh, the the frog is like, you know, just kind of chilling. Can I sort of point at the turtle and point at the frog, see if the frog will look at the turtle? Uh, roll, uh, handle animal again. So, uh, yeah, the frog actually responds to your, uh, frogology and, and, uh, kind of looks over at the turtle and, and you can see it kind of like look a little worried and then it lets out a, a warning croak. Oh, 
a lot of good that did, eh? <laughs> awesome. I remind him the next time I feed him. So do we fight this thing? I don't know. What what do you want to do? She says we just gotta wait him out, boys. I ain't no way I'm tangling with old Grumpy. Does old Grumpy like to eat something? Can we feed him? Old Grumpy like to eat everything. What about a couple shots of rum? I could give him a barrel of rum. Boy, you want to pay for my barrel of rum? <laughs> No, I thought you would just like to donate it to the cause here. Ha! <laughs> this one think he a comedian. So can we pull over to the bank or something? Boy, that's what I'm doing right now. That's fantastic. Yeah, I bet. Why, you want to go tangle with old Grumpy there? No, not particularly. Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, what you want to do? We going to be here a while, boy. What are we going to do? And that's right. I'm from Louisiana now. <laughs> Ideas, guys. We could uh, go jam on that log over there. Yeah, I'm really excited, but I don't know if it's worth it. I got this here bottle. We make us a jug band. Shock band. Ooh, Guys, ooh, what do you think? Ooh, ooh. I, I'm willing to fight it if everybody, if everybody wants. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you talking crazy, boy. What if I put it to sleep? I can try. How you gonna put old Grumpy to sleep there, boy? I don't know how many hit points it has, but I can try. Here, point? What, what at? Something that mages worry about. Mages? Lordy! You use it a black magic? Nope. It's more like gray. Don't say black. Oh my god. I don't want to get offended. All right, uh, you know. Hey. Black magic matters. <clears throat> I can try it. Well, Where's the shot? I got no other ideas. It, it is giant, so uh, if it's not attacking us and uh, we can't avoid it, let's maybe just go to shore. We can do that. We at the shore. What you want to do on the shore, boy? All right. well, I'm getting off this goddamn raft. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> what a giant snapping turtle, after all. Oh, 
Oh, Grumpy ain't even paying no never mind to us. We just leave him be, he'll mosey on. Okay. What does the surrounding shore environment look like? Uh, so you have a little um, area here where where it's able to be pulled off onto like a little beach. And then immediately following that is a small cliff and then some trees. The river, you know, it's flowing here, but not so rapidly that you'd just get swept away if you stepped in it. But it is rather deep. Okay, I'm willing to do whatever. I'm willing to just hang. We just want to wait it out. Yeah, I think it's a good time for a nap. I'll do like a short rest or something and see what happens. Is that a yes? Yeah. yeah. And can I go, like, somewhere private and cast a spell? You can climb up on the cliff there. Okay. If we're doing a short rest, I think I'm gonna keep Timbo awake and on the uh, like on watch. <laughs> Casting mage armor. Okay, so just that you know, when you cast Mage Armor, um, you you are surrounded with a magical aura. However, I allow you to let that aura take whatever shape you want, so you can have it look like regular armor, or you know, possibly a a cloak or something. Uh, for today, I'm going to have it look like I'm just, just wet. I'm just going to have it let it blend in with my wet clothes. But I'll look wet for the rest of the day. And I, a part of that, I have the uh, abjuration arcane tradition now. So I get a ward. Does that does the arcane ward look like anything? Does that have a appearance or is it just invisible? Yeah, so it it can be invisible, however other like wizards and all of that can detect it. Um but more than just that, it is a rune of like either a universal design or occasionally powerful wizards can like have their own unique wards moist okay that's cool all right so mine is uh i guess i just add the ward here Plus eight hit points. So what's your armor class now? 13 with mage armor, and then the ward gives me eight more hit points. Perfect. Uh, it's 13 plus my dex modifier, which I was is gonna say, yeah. plus three. Okay. So 16. Yeah, that's pretty good.
So yeah, the short rest ticks on. An hour goes by, the sun gets lower. What else do you guys do? The by the way, old old Grumpy still just sitting there. Look at him. He eyeing something up that for sure. What direction is he looking? Not at you guys. Can we roll perception to see what he's doing? Fancy. Yeah, you can roll perception to see what he's doing. So you guys can see that he has locked on to a rather large shadow that is just kind of swimming against the current. I don't know if you guys have ever watched any large fish just kind of like swim in place like that. But like he's just kind of swimming there. And old Grumpy, he's locked on to him. This fish is huge by the way it's at least as long as the barge sorry as long as what you broke up the barge uh hamish is getting the hell off the boat ah look at you are you scared of old grumpy there you keep out his way he don't pay you no never mind Is the uh, fish close to the surface? Uh, I mean, close enough that you can see its shadow, but... It's silhouette, I should say. Can I... I'm going to try and do a shot with the arrow just to see if I can at least tag it just to see if it'll react. Is that possible? Or at least I'll try anyway. It's possible, but not probable. I don't know if you know yeah. about like worst that will happen is I lose one arrow. Yeah, but like displacement and velocity and you know, there's just a whole lot of things working against you when it comes to trying to shoot a fish in the water with an arrow. Okay, I have a better idea. Um, I'm going to pack some food around an arrow and just shoot it in front of the shadow to see if I can get the food to sort of make a, something in the water to attract its attention. What kind of food? I don't know, some bread. Just get it wet, packed tightly around, and maybe just put a little bit of uh, rope or something to hold it while it flies. Okay, go ahead. Roll an attack roll to see how close you get. Carry the raft? You crazy boy, I ain't carrying this barge. Um, I, I can't do an attack without having a target. Is there some other way to do it? Uh, yeah, just target the turtle. Okay. All right. So you put the arrow directly in front of the fish. And the fish all of a sudden darts off down the the stream old grumpy here tries to lunge at him 
but he's too late. And belaying his usual intelligence or lack thereof, he turns and looks at the direction that the arrow came from. And he kind of looks, his beady eyes starting to glow in the now gloaming hour as the sun starts to dip below the horizon. I'm going to ask Jack Crow if that's enough room for us to slip by now. Seeing as it's dark and maybe it won't see us. Oh, hell no. I wait till old Grumpy go away for sure before I move along. Old Grumpy bite this boat in half he would. I tried. Oh, okay, then. Looks like we're going to spend the night, then. Ah, uh, we're going to spend a couple more hours, it looks like. We're going to put the light on. You guys sleep in the tent. You guys sleep wherever you like. The, the barge, by the way, is pulled up on the shore, you know, so, like, you guys can sleep in the tent. Yeah, I got my own bedroll. Can I ask how high the cliffs are? Uh, you know, 10 to 15 feet, nothing... Are they enough to keep uh, Snappy up, like from climbing? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm, uh, <clears throat> is anybody be upset if I ask Jack to maybe take me to the other side and I'll try and uh, lure it from the other side with an arrow and then you guys can pass and then I'll get back on down river? Ah, boy, you making this too complicated. You just wait. Oh, Grumpy, he go away. He just hungry, that's all. You scare away his meal. Why, why don't you feed him your big friend over there? That way, instead of him eating up all our food, old Grumpy eat him up. <laughs> He's full of mayonnaise. So are we doing a long rest or something? Yeah, it, it looks like you guys might be in for a long rest now. Are you attached to that toad? Kinda, yeah. Okay. <laughs> his, his, his name is Jeremiah. And he was a bullfrog. Well, I didn't know we named him. Now that he's named. Yeah, now he's Speaking a named which... NPC. He's entitled to death saves and everything. Oh, now that he's an NPC, then he's definitely dead. Yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot. All my NPCs have that's, to die. That's what our group does best. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you guys prepare for, for a long rest then? Speaking of which, I'm going to try and feed the frog. Fucking ridiculous. 
The I'm frog really seems good. the frog seems disinterested in your food. Oh Jesus. All right. So as you guys are are long resting, you guys didn't see in your circle of light. But in the circle of light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, is anybody sleeping or is everybody continuing to drink? Jackaro says, "Ah, we got we got plenty of rum left. Anybody want to have another drink?" No. We've got children to think of. Won't somebody please think of the children? How about we give that old bullfrog a drink, see what he do? Dallas will have one. Dallas will have a drink. Okay. Uh, and offer it to the frog. See what happens. You offer the bullfrog a drink, and it, it kind of like sniffs sniffs at it and it and it like rears its head back like whoa what is that <laughs> so as you guys are all kind of farting around drinking and and goofing around and and getting ready for a rest you fail to notice several flashing lights of what looks like fireflies coming at you but as they get the close police it's the police as uh, they're going to narc our stash as as uh a, as they get closer you realize that these are much larger than fireflies they are in fact the dreaded giant fire wasps and they are coming at you. Character lives matter. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Too soon. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you guys want to do? We really need some freaking industrial bug spray. We keep running into these bastards. Yeah, I, I want to deploy the raid. So should we roll for initiative? Oh yes, very much so. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna roll. Hold on, let me just get my shit together, if you will. Uh, who's got Hamish? I do. He rolled a uh, seventeen. Gosh, this isn't letting me roll. Is the frog gonna roll, or is he gonna be like lazy? I'm clicking on initiative and it's not what I roll. You rolled four times, five times. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, so, which which time count? Ten. Ten. The first time. Thank Don't you. worry, I got it. Yeah, I got a ten. I got a fucking ten, man. Yeah, I got a ten. To give her Better a ten. Than me. A ten. A fucking ten. I've got a 10. I'm sorry. Uh, my wife, who I sent on expensive vacations, friend just drunk, friend just accused me of like uh, philandering tonight, which I'm laughing. It's like, not tonight. It's, I mean, I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons tonight. A couple of nights the ago. The complete I, opposite tonight. Abso two nights ago, absolutely, I was philandering. But tonight, bitch, no, not philandering. Okay, I'm going to try and use Hunter's Mark. I, did, I wasn't on last week, so I don't know if I just click on it and that's it. Yes. Ooh, what does that do? It's 
<laughs> it kills them. Nice. Yeah. It it kills giant fire wasps dead. And you, indeed, your arrow finds its mark. You study it using your your hunter's mark knowledge of how to like pick your target and hone in on its weak spots. And you fire your arrow, slamming right through the giant fire wasp's uh, torso, and it explodes in a small burst of fire. All right, it's up to you guys now. I'm done. Okay, Hamish is going to shoot. Just kidding, my weapon here. He'll hit the next closest target. Oh, he'll try to. Yeah. So the top giant fire wasp here, you fire your light crossbow bolt at it, hitting it, and knocking it out of the sky, it falls into the water. Is that your turn? Sorry, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, the bullfrog gets kind of excited. And uh, readies an attack for anything that comes into its reach. It's kind of like maybe food to him. Yeah, I'm going to give him a high five and just encourage him. I'm <clears throat> for uh, if a wasp gets in there within 30 feet, I'll shoot one. Okay. Ooh. Pretty sure they're almost within 30 feet already. So do I have range? Can I shoot an arrow at one of these guys? Or... Do you have? Oh, yeah, you have a longbow. Oh, of course. But does it take a, an, a turn action to ready it? Or... Nope. Okay. Well, by God, I'm going to do that. Um, longbow. <laughs> This one. Ooh, that one's close. Let me check and make sure that you hit it. Indeed you did. Oh. And so, once again, you hit it. Knocking it out of the sky into the water. Well, there you go. Well done. There you go. You didn't know Korg could do that. <laughs> well, his Korg, he, you know.
Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so Korg and Timbo and the bullfrog. And of course the two girls. Not the bullfrog. The bullfrog, Jeremiah. <laughs> What do I need to do? You need to roll a dexterity save. Rolled. I think. Ha ha ha. Ha. Is that like a uh, dexterity check? Nope, dexterity save. Oh, no. As you can see, I rolled an 18, which is superior. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Oh, yeah, that's my dexterity. <laughs> All right, so uh, Bob Korg made it, so he takes two damage. Timbo made it. He takes two damage. Everybody else failed and takes four. And although Jack looks like she can take it, Darcy looks badly burnt. The frog looks, you know, he doesn't love it. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit the oh, giant. Oh, oh, Abilius, Abilius, that that guy's definitely within thirty feet too. Oh, well, he's gonna get his ass shot. Yeah, he is. Which one? The one that just struck? Yes. And as your arrow, fly, your bolt flies from your tiny little. Uh, crossbow everyone is reminded once again that it's not the size of the crossbow it's how accurate you hit the spot and your bolt knocks the fire wasp out of the air right as it unleashes its fire so now that one did Kind of hoping we just to on the again. boat so that you know we can feed, give us some, Jeremiah some food. I know we have to fish it out of the water. I was thinking the same no. thing. Grumpy's probably gonna eat these fuckers. If we can get one to the bullfrog, I'm curious to see what will happen. It's like built-in hot sauce, I think. <laughs> oh, oh. So Delos. Okay, I'm going to try to hit the one that hasn't gone yet. Well, the rest are in the water, so... You do indeed hit it with fire, which it is resistant to. Um, however, however, uh, there is a chance that it immolates it. So, I have to roll that. You know, that would look kind of cool. It would, like, fucking explode. Unfortunately, it does not explode. It does explode. No. Yeah, it does explode. Holy cow. Only a 25% chance, and you got it. So, 
it explodes into a fiery death. Sweet. All right. And now, Jackaro is like, oh, boys, where when when the fire wasps come, they come in numbers. Those damn fire fire. What'd you say? Jack Rowe says they're coming in numbers. Fireballs. I guess we do initiative again. No, no, you guys, you guys stay. These guys are joining the battle. Oh, great. All right, so I rolled a natural 20, which means that I get to take my action and I get another bonus standard action. So I am going to come in and spray you guys with some fire again. We lost it again, Chad. Hello? There you are. Yeah, I'm just spraying you guys with some fire, just, you know, kind of hosing you down. And do the people that haven't gone yet, do they get an action? Nobody hasn't gone yet. Everybody went. Well, I didn't know if Hamish went. I was going to ask Jack Rowe if those pistols are just for sure to keep in her pants up. Oh, yeah, no, the the wasps weren't here on Jack Rowe's turn. No. Maybe she doesn't have to bullet, have bullets in them. She just has to use them as fly swatters. Should we do uh, dexterity throws again? Yeah, everybody in the fire. So um, that's anybody who's touched by by that. Delos, Timbo, Bullfrog, Darcia, and Korg. Ooh, if I lose a bullfrog, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, they're 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 gonna cook Jeremiah. Uh. All right, so far everybody's made it. Uh, waiting on Korg. Okay, got it. And uh, she's going to make it this time. So everybody except for Korg makes it. So um, 
one rounded down is zero, so Korg takes one damage and everybody else takes zero. And then... Ouch. I'm going to use my remaining action to move right here. No, I'm going to fly over here. Okay, Timbo, what you got? Uh, just one quick question. Do I need to set Hunter's Mark again? I know it's still active, but how do I just to make... No, it's, there, no, it's not it? still active because the creature died. So yes, you need to set it on a new creature. <clears throat> okay, perfect. I'm going to take one a bit further back so that hopefully people will have a chance to shoot the other closer ones. Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, ping which one you're gonna you're gonna target. Can you ping which one you're gonna target? Yeah, I'm just wondering how do I ping again? You hold down left click. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Now if I can remember what Hunter's Mark is supposed to be. Does it automatic damage? I wish it would allow you to like uh, <clears throat> relabel everything as what you want. Yeah, so you hit it. Oh, wait, is that the one you're targeting? Yeah, that was the same one I targeted with the Hunter's Mark too, I thought. Okay, yeah, yep. So you hit it and it uh, falls out of the sky in a shower of like little sparks. These things aren't very tough, you know. There's just a lot of them. Do I have a, enough action left to pull the little bullfrog back behind me, sort of shield him? Yeah, I'll let you do that. Okay, I'll do that as my last, and then I'm ready. Okay. Oh, that was the one that was going next. Nice, well done. You knew somehow. You remembered exactly which ones rolled what. All right. So he can only see, Hamish can only see the ones that are within this little circle of light here. Uh, you should be able to see whatever you can see. you Because you have dark vision, so I don't know how far it goes. But whatever your character, whatever you, the player, can see on the screen is what your character can see. Ah, okay. Sweet. Okay. He's going to attack one of the other ones then uh, with the crossbow. Interesting. You managed to wing the wasp, but it's still up and flying. Okay, so it has more than two hit points. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is four. Okay, that's Hamish. Hmm. 
another one of these nasty fire wasps comes flying in to spray you with its caustic venom. Can Jackro uh, look out? <laughs> oh, too late. Oh, too late. So sorry. Sorry, Timbo, that just barely got you. As long as the frog doesn't get hit. The frog did not get hit. Sorry, I'm just giving me a second to save, do a dexterity save. I'm hearing, like, Flight of the Valkyries in my head as these wasps come flying in. Nice. Yeah, that would have been perfect. I was hearing Flight of the Bumblebees. Man, good thing this is a dumb bee, otherwise you guys would have been really screwed. All right, so Timbo, Korg, Jeremiah, and Darcia. I got to roll again? Okay. Yeah, these guys are again. being little jerks. Oh, I got hit again. All right, so Timbo, you take one. Korg, you take two. Jeremiah takes two. Okay. Um, it's not letting me um, take my hits. Oh, there it goes. And Darcia takes two. Oh, boy. This fire wasp comes in. As our ship, is our crew riding with us? Or oh yeah, is... oh yeah. They they just aren't coming up in initiative just yet. Okay. All right, so everybody but Abilius and Hamish. Ooh, 
Ooh, and that was a good roll for damage, too. <laughs> Jeremiah, no! Oh. Okay, so everybody who rolled above a 13 takes 3 damage. Everybody else takes 6. Darcia is looking burnt. What? Me? I take 6? I'm sorry, I... Korg takes it. If you rolled above a 13, you take three. If you roll oh, below. Oh, roll again? If, yeah. If you roll below a 13, you take six. Uh, okay, well, I guess so. Yay. All right, <laughs> so you you take three. Oh, shit. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Make your aim true. And so, um, oh, unfortunately, Abilius is getting a bit. Oh, never mind. He, uh, He's on this shit. So, uh, uh, although he went to stumble and and loosed his bolt sooner than expected, luckily, as he came back down, it took perfect aim and pierced the wasp, killing it. As Abilius was about was about to trip and stumble and, and miss, instead the bolt flew perfectly out at the exact right time, even accidentally, and hit the wasp, dropping it to the ground. Yay! <laughs> Jeremiah leaps into the air, letting his long tongue try and grab this giant wasp. Snatching it right out of the air, he grabs it, and although it's not dead, he has a hold of it. It is grabbled and damaged. <laughs> All right. I've, I've had enough of these motherfuckers. Is it my turn? Yes. So if I step up to here, am I... A, sunk from the earth or no uh, no you're so. you're standing about knee deep in water all right well uh, that's where i moved and this motherfucker right here is getting a hand axe which is not on my thing let me see 
Yeah, a hand axe. Uh, let me see. Attack. Uh, use default, right? Yes. My hand. I'm rolling. Uh, I don't. I don't know if that uh, that happen. I'm submitting it. Yep. And as your hand axe flies through the air, it slices the giant fire wasp in half and continues flying, and the fire wasp is dead. Which which one did I hit? This is the one I wanted to hit right here. Are you pinging it? Which one did you want to hit? The one right in front of you? Yep. Yep. That's what I assumed. He's dead. So do I get a second attack if I want to do my second attack? Right now? If you use action surge. So if you click on your token, you'll see action surge. And if you use that, then yes. Yeah, I'm gonna action surge this motherfucker <laughs> over here. The second hand axe. It's one of here is it's threatening my mates up here by the bullfrog. Uh, what do I click now? Uh, just click your hand axe that you rolled again, and then you want to target this one over here, or which one are you targeting? The one that's close to my mates. Uh, I'm, I'm rolling attack. The the frog has that one in his mouth, so just let him eat uh, that one. Okay, is there another one? That's yeah. yeah there's, there's one. There's one. one over here. Oh, there he's fucked that one. He's that's the one. I think I already rolled. Yep. You roll again. Yeah, yeah you got to roll again. Well, oh my God. I think that's enough to kill the, uh, something. Yeah. So as you hurl your hand axe to almost its maximum range, you critically strike the giant fire wasp, making a fiery show. Your hand axe is actually blown back by the explosion, and so it lands in the river where you can, like, still kind of see where it landed. Cool. So shall I recover my ammunition? You can try to at the end of the battle. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm done. Need some more hand axes. <laughs> oh, another one. I think the common terminology is the fleshlight. Fucking wasps. Fucking wasps. <laughs> you guys need a good exterminator around here. All right. Oh my God. So, just cord. Just cord. A dexterity check. A save roll. Yep, save. And you take two fire damage. <laughs> Not so. Oh fuck! More fire. All right. I'm dying. Okay, question for Magic Missile. If I shoot Magic Missile and a dart, I want to put a dart in the three wasps that I can see, do I only roll once for damage, or do I roll three separate times for damage? How does the damage work? It should roll three damages. If it doesn't, I'll fix three it. Three separate. Okay, I'm going to do that. So the three I can see in my range...
Yeah, so each of them takes two damage as your missile. What do your magic missiles look like, by the way? So did it, did it roll? Okay, so it rolled two for all of them. That's just what it rolled. Or did it roll once for everything? I can't tell. No, it rolled three twos. Oh, shit. So basically I rolled three ones is what I rolled. Yeah, no, it wasn't one, it wasn't optimal. One plus one. Yeah, that's shitty. Does anybody have a hand axe? What what do, does your magic <laughs> missile look like, by the way? Uh it's gonna look like a hmm. A dildo, a dildo, a dildo. Spike dice dildos. Not sure. I'll get back to you. Okay. Fair enough. It's an important decision. Until you get back to me, it's going to look like Hot Wheels cars racing down one of those awesome orange tracks. No, they look okay. like fucking tennis okay. rackets. Tennis rackets. <laughs> On fire nuclear warheads attached to him. That's it. It's Birdo's eggs. Ah, jeez. Black Lives Matter bricks. <laughs> oh, even better. <laughs> Antifa bricks. Hey, 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 easy guys. Don't get me demonetized. <laughs> I mean, I'm all about free speech, but, you know. I, no, I, yeah, I, it isn't. You, you might you may want to cancel the broadcast of this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. None of this is going to air. <laughs> yeah, this isn't probably your proudest moment. <laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. I'm just, you know, just easy. Uh, so Jackaro pulls out her hand axe. And you can see that um, she she isn't willing to waste a bullet on these. And she chucks it right at the wasp in front of Korg. Thank you. Smashing it out of the sky. There you go. Uh, opted for more alcohol, less tobacco. So. Yeah, Friday's Fred, Friday's an easy day. Yeah, it's been great. Great week. Uh. Ooh, somebody going die. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. okay. Ooh. All right. So, mm, not Hamish, and we're gonna say Delos oh. and Jeremiah are just outside. So Korg and Timbo and the two girls. Okay, Korg again. He's Come so on, big. Korg. He's so big. He's so big. And, you know, that's, that's a common fucking complaint against Korg. Oh, well, I rolled a two. So um, So you take five damage. Um, yeah. Failure. I'm down to five. Mm-hmm. Researching Hamish's heel. I should have fucking taken those allergy shots. What was I think? Who would have known you were allergic to fire? Mm. 
or 20 thousand fucking firewalls. Who'd have thought it? Yay. <laughs> Abilius. How much did I, was I supposed to do a safe throw over there? No, just now. The This wasp is just targeting you. He doesn't like you. All right. So I got to make a save throw? Is what you said? Yep. Dexterity saving throw, sir. All right. All right. So you take two fire damage. Oh, you lucky okay. bastard. <laughs> Oh. Okay, I'm going to mark uh, which one I'm doing Hunter's Mark on. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Your elven accuracy just makes it to where you just can't miss. You hit yet again. Killing it, of course. As long as Jeremiah makes it, that's all that matters. Like, you're willing to let your companions die, but, you know. I'd sell them for a sandwich. <laughs> Okay, Hamish is going to uh, attempt to heal Cork here. Oh, thank you. He's going to run over. My friend, you look like you need some assistance. You're covered in bug bites. Dr. Hamish is terrible at diagnosis, but hopefully his treatment is... is more apt okay he's not covered in bug bites he's covered in burns um the thing the auto thing isn't working for it i don't think let me try it one more time hey hey do you got to target something and yeah, did, I targeted you, did, Korg. did you click on your token first and if the pop-up's still up you have to click the x and try it again Uh, it just keeps giving me that error. Huh. I will look into that for you. All right, one more time. Yeah, error. All I'll right, just I'm, cast it. I'm, I'm going to do it. I got it. Okay. Oh, hold on. I got, I got this. I know what's happening. User error? Uh, no, programmer error. Okay, it just as easily could have been user error. No, no. No, 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 no. It is definitely my bad. I'm just sitting over here pressing buttons. I really have no effing clue half the time. Pressing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> you got rum, bitch. <laughs> okay, try it now. Okay. There we go. Yo, welcome. Yeah. He better be grateful for that. It does magically soothe all of his burns, though. Didn't give Thank me you. um Thank his 
Well, fuck, his what's base, my though. name? Uh, what am I I'm at five. Oh, Ooh. you are at six now. That is a 20% increase in hit points. So Isn't there a six? bonus, though? Oh, I hope you kill me. One d eight plus you your spell casting ability modifier. Yeah, what's your what's your uh, wisdom? An eighteen. Yeah, so I don't know why it did that, but yeah, I will fix that. Yeah, you should have four more, Bob. You should five. You should have so ten. Five from that. Yeah, so you have ten total. Yep. So I'm um, at plus plus five. Man, I'm rolling like shit today. Thanks so much. Jeez. <laughs> I'm ready my bow. Abilius, for some reason, is carrying around a soothing cream. You guys aren't entirely sure what it's for. Bug bites. Yeah, yeah, bug bites. I make exceptions. He also he also has a selection of oils. And a couple of uh paintings that he won't let anybody take a look at. You're gonna die. You're fucking dead, Abilius. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple wood etchings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so this giant fire wasp is, is grappled by the bullfrog, so he's actually going to try and escape. And the bullfrog is going to try and not let him escape. Jeremiah's like, hey, fuck you. Get in my belly. Yeah. I'm bigger than you. That means I'm higher on the food chain. <laughs> drag, it, drag those motherfuckers oh. down here. Yeah, you got it. I'm going Let's to see. corg them. Three, four. Five. So I'll use a cunning action. Disengage. I guess my movement. Yeah. Don't. Uh, you have you have a macro for that, so don't forget to use your cunning action. I. I well, you know what? I I thought I did, and. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And yeah, might as well shoot, but. Um, is there is there a wasp? Yeah, you know I'm just gonna shoot one of these guys over here. Never mind. Okay. Remember, you can take an attack at any point during your movement. Yeah, like, I'm just the one that I can do a you know sneak attack on, but this is good enough. Oh, okay, yeah. And you indeed hit him, knocking him out of the air. All right. <sighs> oh, Jeremiah. Oh, you're going to swallow this guy. Yep, and he does. Jeremiah swallows him down and looks back at Timbo like, did you see that? I mean, the thing is almost as big as him, so, you know, that was a meal to choke down. Hell yeah, I did, buddy. Okay, so, uh... Can I come up here and then knock the shit out of this hole in your hand? Yeah. Eh, that's what I want to know. I'm just going to go great sword. <laughs> uh, 
Chris Ord says to me, sorry. Tell me to choose it, but it's, uh, I can't. Uh... Okay. This is the one I'm about to hit, but it didn't. Um... Oh, no. Cord cut his toe off. Nah. I no. killed it. Fall. No, no. Uh, you do swing at the wasp, though, but it proves a little hard to hit in your inebriated state. Oh. Oh. Okay. So there's that. Art imitates life here. <laughs> so did you say they were resistant to fire? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go for uh, one of the ones I already hit. And good thing I got a different spell now, uh, other than Firebolt. I will use Frostbite this time. <clears throat> Just choosing my target here. That's a new spell, so I don't have it keyed up, so just one sec. I'm attacking the one on the shore there. Okay. The one north of Cork. Correct. I'm just fixing your spell quick. Guess I could just manually roll that. I got it. I guess you take you make a constitution saving throw for that one. Yep. Just give me a second. Sure. took this spell because I figured if we were fighting something big, then it would actually get a disadvantage on their weapon attacks. You want to come up here? Okay, please roll your spell. All right, all right. Oh, you're a big boy. These are some motherfucking wasps, am I right? <laughs> what is with my rolling? Ooh, he fails his save, so he I kill him. He takes the two cold damage, but he is vulnerable to cold. So he Ooh. takes four cold damage. His wings frost over. The fiery tip of his stinger seems to go out and he drops into the ground. The water. Yeah. That happens to me after about five whiskeys. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Jackaro <clears throat> sees the one right there and whips one of her hand axes at it. 
Oh, and I, I adjusted my my guy a little bit. Knocking it out of the air. Damn. <laughs> Take him out, Timbo. All righty. Sorry, it's covered. Is it the one just underneath Jackaro? Uh, there is one right here. I got it. What does Hunter's Mark I do? I gave you a bonus? Yeah, it gives him bonus damage and all of that. So, Unfortunately, you take aim, but you're so intent on hitting it that you, like, overthink it and you miss. Just performance anxiety. Thank <laughs> you. 